I appreciate everybody joining. We have kind of a cool new subject. I was uh, playing around in uh, SharePoint 2013 the other day, and uh, one of the features that you find in all previous versions of, Sh of SharePoint is the ability to work with search scopes and provide a little search scope drop-down right from the, uh, the search box anywhere on your site. Well, the search scopes functionality has been uh, deprecated uh, in name in 2013 and replaced now with what we call uh, SharePoint result sources. Uh, federated sources have also been rolled up into result sources as well. So you can imagine my shock when uh, I'm thinking, okay, we just have to change the name of this over to result sources and I'm still going to be able to pro provide a drop down, no big deal. Well, 2013 doesn't actually work that way. The way the search navigation drop down works is uh, by uh, adding links directly to search pages. So you can't call a scope or call a resort so result source directly. You actually have to create a whole new page and, uh, and target your scope or your result source to trigger into that page. So what I'll do here is I want to show you how to do that. And we're going to run through this fairly quick uh, for a lot of people here. This might be a uh, bit of a refresher on uh, on things like uh, SharePoint Designer. Um, it, maybe learning something new with uh, with result sources in 2013. We'll create something functional that matches uh, the type of functionality that you saw in 2010. I'm going to skip forward here just as a little refresher. This is what the 2010 scopes drop down looks like and this is what you can get with the search navigation drop down 